The recent American anti-Muslim film and the subsequent worldwide protest over it have once again driven the clash of cultures into the spotlight. Now, New Yorkers are being pushed to take sides in the conflict between Muslims and Israel. Artisan Anastasia Trukina is there to find out what locals think. These ads calling for the defeat of jihad are being put up in 10 subway stations in New York. The messages cost a reported $6,000 and come from a group that's accused of sparking hate by critics, but has been given the green light by New York authorities. Only going up this Monday, the ads are already causing much debate. Are they too offensive to the Muslim community or does freedom of speech conquer all? Let's find out what New Yorkers have to say about this. I'm shocked that, that Mayor Bloomberg and his uh, people are allowing that. We're just going to lead on to more anti, anti everything. It's a good idea to have anti-Islamic sentiment for some reason. Absolutely not. That just perpetuates anti-people sentiment. Controversial? Of course it's controversial. It's poisonous in the New York City subway system. You know, this is a city that's been racked by trauma for years and years, and here we are uh, after 11 years of war, still using the language of war. These ads are going up in New York subway stations today. Okay. What do you think about this? Uh, well, I support Israel, the safety and peace and security of Israel. I'm not for hate speech, but at the same time, we have a First Amendment. Is there really a very fine line between freedom of speech and offending somebody? There is. There's freedom of speech, but there's also freedom of religion. So you have to walk a fine line. It shouldn't be anti-Muslim, but people still should be aware of what they're doing. The anti-Muslim ads are popping up at a time when protests continue raging in the Middle East over a film depicting the Prophet Muhammad. So should New York officials have considered not just the substance, but also the timing of this campaign? There ought to be less discussion and just let the thing die out. Now's the time because they, they are, you know, they hate us over there. Whenever you start speaking against religion, especially when tensions are globally the way that they are, um, yeah, I think there definitely could be some consequences. Well, I could see how it could make things complicated. Um, whether it would have an effect on the U.S., I'm not sure, but uh, you could use this as something against the U.S. Do you think this could have uh, more dangerous consequences, really, for the United States? Sure. The anti-Islam ads will remain in New York City subway stations for a month, and whether they could lead to more dire consequences than just sparking debate is exactly what remains to be seen. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.